All right, so apparently the new update came out and apparently they added a lot of Mario Kart Wii tracks in this last update that just happened, like Maple Treeway, Peach Gardens, which I know Peach Gardens isn't like a Wii track, but that's where I know it for. So I just want to check them out. Apparently they also Omega nerfed Waluigi Wiggler, something with like iframes that they made, they buffed other things. I don't really know, but let's just go on Waluigi Wiggler for, for the exploration. I also haven't played this game in a very long time. I'm gonna be super rusty. It's these guys that are new. So we have London Loop, Boo Lake, Rock Rock Mountain, Maple Tree Way, which I'm excited for, and uh, Berlin Byways, Peach Gardens, Merry Mountain, and Rainbow Road from the 3DS. I'm gonna assume this is a Mario Kart Tour track. It feels like a Mario Kart Tour track. Get reacquainted with the physics engine. There's like multiple paths. Oh, this is one of those tracks where like every lap is different, huh? It's like on some Six King Labyrinth sh**. I guess that's interesting. I like this track actually. Maybe I like it even better than uh, the Paris track out of like the Mario Kart Tour ones. Oh God. Where is this guy going? Oh, I was trying to look behind me. <laughs> that's the Mario Kart Wii muscle memory. I'm trying to look behind me, but I'm actually breaking. Wait, can I go this way? Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. Now the chain chomps are just running around everywhere. What is what happened to London, dude? This has to be a metaphor for something. Dude! Oh, I phased right through him. I feel like I deserve to get hit there. I'm glad they got the UK weather correct. I thought that UK weather was just like rainy and disgusting all the time. This, is, this actually looks pleasant. I feel like you're lying to me. Doyle reaction stream. You're reacting to my reaction. It's a react exception. Oh, I got a Snapchat from a viewer. Let's see what she says. In case anyone was wondering, a beatbox does fit in a big gulp. Thank you. This feels like an N64 track. Ooh. You know, <laughs> a lot of people rag on what the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC courses look like, but I, for one, as somebody that does nothing but play a game that came out in like 2008, think this looks I mean, it looks really, like really good. It's like if you were to unfreeze a caveman and show him electricity, he'd be like, oh my God, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Meanwhile, we're like, oh yeah, and anything else? Is this a shortcut? Oh, it is. I like that. This track is so good. Short, sweet, to the point. That feels like a track that would be very good to time trial, but not very good for online races. Yeah, this rings a lot of bells from that marathon speed run that I did. Okay, a rare mistake. I'm just gonna let you know that I will send reacts every five minutes. I have those now. Guys, if you're liking the stream, be sure to react, but react positively. Wait, what's this? Oh, you can trick off this. What about this one? Nothing. Look at the toads. Let's hit a toad. Oh, we can't. Okay, never mind. I reacted with Resident Sleeper because I want to sleep with you. I don't think that's how Twitch is gonna take that. They're gonna think that my stream is boring when clearly this is the most entertaining thing on the platform. Uh, this is the one that I'm probably most excited for. I've been asking for a Maple Treeway remake forever, like since this game came out. Like even this, even this right here, look at how good the tree looks that you can cut through. And they made the shortcut a lot more obvious too. In Mario Kart Wii, they had this like all fenced off and you could barely even see it. A rare L on the music though. It's less robust. Dude, this log. No, uh, oh no, that's where the item boxes are. Wiggler. It's so bright and colorful. They just like upped the saturation for everything. And it looks so good. Oh, they cut out a lot. Wow, they cut out a lot of driving in this section. And they took out the the rope? Okay. Seems strange. I don't know why they took out the uh, rope section, but whatever. Dude, the song isn't hitting. I'm not the only one. I'm glad I'm not the only one that thinks that. This song kind of sucks. Two wigglers? Wait, are there, al there are always two wigglers. I lied. That, that's, that, that was a fake reaction. But like, this didn't need to be a glider section. Let's go into one of the trees. And like, that doesn't feel as rewarding to go through. It just kind of feels like a path that's there. In Mario Kart Wii, it's so hard. Well, not so hard as in it's difficult, but you have to actually use your brain a little bit to take either of the two paths after that rope section because of the way that the geometry is easy to like fall off or just like miss it entirely. But there, it just feels so free. 
And the Wigglers don't feel like as much of a problem. You can get seriously f***ed by the Wigglers in Mario Kart Wii, and then you're done. I like it though. I still f*** with this track really heavy. I feel like I'm not gonna like this track. Lots of just holding A and doing nothing so far. I just held A and did nothing for about five seconds. That's the, that's the kind of gameplay I love. Not even a single turn. Just drive forward. Oh, strange. Oh, well now it makes sense because there's a glider. So instead of holding A and doing nothing, you hold A and glide for five seconds. Would be better on 200? It would, this, you know, this one would be better on 200. I think it could benefit from, from more speed. Oh, I just realized I forgot to, uh, to justify why my opinions on these tracks are correct. For anybody that doesn't know. I am a Mario Kart Wii professional. I define professional not as being the best at the game. I am a professional because I have made money playing Mario Kart Wii. I have put more hours into this game than most people have. And I have played these tracks that they are remaking hundreds if not thousands of times. So if you are looking for an authority on these Mario Kart Wii tracks and Mario Kart Deluxe, it is I. I am the prime example of a professional Mario Kart Wii player. Got to say this for the YouTube video, it's true, I do. I meant to say it earlier, but I forgot. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you too have played Mario Kart before or something. <laughs> I made money doing dishes when I was 12. Does that make you a professional dishwasher? I think it makes you a former professional dishwasher. Uh, whereas I am actively making money playing Mario Kart Wii on the internet. Oh, should I? Wait, this is it. This is Peach Gardens. I don't know why I... I, want, I need to restart this. I was in shill mode. I don't think I... Did I like what I just drove? Hold on. Immediately, I think they swapped out that sculpture was not there before. I think it was something different. Also, they made it so you can't go around the circle? Ultra lame. One of the best bagging strategies in Mario Kart Wii was to start in first place and then go counterclockwise and be in like last place when you get a box. It was baby Mario. I know it wasn't regular Mario. God damn it. All right, let's do this. This is the actual lap. Wait, what is that path? Look at the minimap. What is at the bottom left corner of the minimap? They added something. Is that like a secret shortcut? I guess we're gonna we're gonna find out. I'm restarting again. <laughs> I'm gonna take the shortcut like normal. I do like the the flower accoutrement. Oh, that's different. Isn't there usually a uh, that they moved the flower bed? I went super inside because usually you have to. Can I go inside this one? They changed that one too. They messed up the whole thing. And they added a piranha here instead of the three or four uh, hedges. Yeah, so you got you can take this a lot more wide. You can trick off. They made that trickable. Okay, sure. And they added more sculptures in the garden. All right, so let's try and find that other. It's like it's this way. But maybe they open it up lap three because there was a wall there. Oh, what is this? Okay, so lap three, they're they're switching it up. Never before seen. What is it? Super. Super short lap? No, you're going around a different way. Oh, you go, you like drive it backwards? Huh? That's an interesting twist. And now there's a glider section? Hmm. I kind of like this, boys. I am open to this change. And as you all know, Mar uh, Peach Gardens is in my like top five favorite tracks in Mario Kart Wii. And this plays really well. I think that they have added on to the already great creation. Yeah, that was very cool. This does look like a quality track. This track looks like, it just looks like Christmas. These tracks definitely have, in this wave, definitely have a lot more polish on them than the first two waves of the DLC tracks. Maybe they just forgot how to make tracks for a little bit and then they remembered. It doesn't really have a lot to it though. Like you're going up this hill, you're occasionally turning left and right. But other than that, what are you doing? It's probably different with like item boxes and other racers, but this seems kind of mid from a driving perspective. Can you do this, I wonder? Oh, that's totally a shortcut. Oh, it's not. Never mind. Damn, Nintendo really killed the shortcut opportunity. I'm sure that is the shortcut. You're just not meant to take it so tight. Maybe it's after this ramp, like you go off here and then you do this and then you get down here. That's definitely your shortcut, but I wonder where it will cut you off. So you can go here, you can go, you can go all the way until there. I'll, I'll, I'll be going for that. That'll be the Doyle cut, because I found that myself. 
Ooh, look at the road. It looks like a current of water. Maybe ice. Uh-oh. Great start. Rainbow Road is such a hard track. Rainbow Road? Oh, dude, I, I can't stop falling off. Rainbow Roads are just meant to be the hardest tracks in existence. Tricking. Tricking. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I just saw something. You definitely can't do this. This would be way too easy. Oh. You can? Oh. Why'd it take me that long to get sent back? Why? Why wouldn't it just send me back immediately, huh? <laughs> I wonder if this is possible. Hmm. I think there's a hard cutoff point. There's... I don't think it's possible. Unless... Dude, that was as close as I've ever gotten. All right, let's keep keep driving. I'm sure that some Japanese person on Twitter is gonna have done it already, and it's not gonna be any of my concern. All it does is skip this little part of the track. I wonder what would happen if you had a bullet during an actual race with that cut. Oh, what a phenomenal idea. See, why couldn't they have just added a section like this on Maple Treeway? That's all we needed, the little net section. Bring back the net. Hashtag bring back the net, get it trending. Oh, this is one of them one-lappers, huh? All right, aside from my little speedrunner brain trying to break every single thing on this track, I really like this. I don't even mind the excessive tricking. Is the music just taken from the other Rainbow Road track? Yes? No, I don't think it is. I think it's slightly different. Oh, that's it, that's all eight of them, okay. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you watching, everybody. If you have not already joined the Discord, please do. Possibly more Mario Kart 8 in the future, because this is a lot of fun, and I, I want to play around with the new changes that they added to, like, the um, item system for private rooms. And that's that's it. That's all I got. So I'll see you guys another time. Okay, time to go. Goodbye.